So the apt-get system-wide VST process in, in Windows is called Equalizer APO. You install it and then restart and you'll get uh, a virtual system, like a virtual audio device. And that allows you to load up VST plugins in Windows System Audio and then you can load up the VSX software and it'll process your system audio. And basically, it's a really neat little program. When you click on the different sort of emulations, it gives you a kind of an equalizer curve to show you, you know, what they look like coming through. For some reason, some of them don't work. Some of them work some of the time in terms of like the display, but, and the other bug is that the output levels don't display anything, but other than that, it works perfectly. So, um, it's been totally stable in Windows as well. It hasn't caused any unwanted effects in you know performance of Windows or instability with other audio stuff. So, it seems to play nicely. Um, so yeah, that's the one for Windows. And next one's the one for macOS that I'm using. So, back in a sec. Okay, so the app for macOS for system wide VST processing is called Menu Bus. It's another free app. Um, and it works really well. You have to assign it to your audio interface output. And then once you do, you can load it up here. You can enable it, disable it, bypass it. But yeah, works well, works as expected. And that'll give you another, you know, way to listen to system-wide audio on your Mac. And then both of these apps are free. So um, there are paid alternatives. There's one called Sound Source, and it's made by, it's sort of the evolution of Menu Bus. It's a lot more fully featured. A lot of people are saying it's really good. Um, but yeah, this one, if you don't fancy spending another $47, which sound source costs, um, yeah, that's a good option. And Equalizer APO for Windows is open source. It's free. So both really good options. I think there are paid options for Windows as well, but you really, it's not necessary. So yeah, hopefully people find that helpful. Cheers.